Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to mount into your computer an actual image file that you have downloaded from the internet. What do I mean by mounting? I mean it's like creating a virtual CD drive inside your computer that will a will be able to read the actual file you downloaded and this will take away the need of you actually having to burn it to an actual DVD in order for your computer to read it. The program I use is one that I discovered many years ago. It's called Daemon Tools. So in your Google search bar, just that just type Daemon Tools, right? Go into their main website. Right here it's on downloads already, but just in case you weren't on downloads, you click on the download toolbar and you're going to scroll to the one that says Daemon Tools Lite. This is the free version, doesn't require you to purchase anything. Don't click up here right away, download now. Bad mistake. You're going to look right here where it says Damon Tools Light Description and you're going to click on the download button right here. So it's downloading, blah blah blah. I already have that file on my system because I already installed it. So once you installed Damon Tools Light into your system, it may require you to reboot your whole entire system. Do that. Reboot your system. And once you reboot it, you're going to go right here. For me, it's hidden. My little icons next to the clock are hidden. So you're going to go right next to the icons that are next to your clock. Go into your hidden ones, which is right here with the arrow. And Damon Tools will be with the little flash, slide, flash sign right here. You're going to click on Damon Tools. And so to explain a little bit more what Damon Tools does, it creates a virtual DVD drive inside your system and that's to mount those image files that you have just downloaded so when you click on the image I mean on the DVD drive that says no media it's gonna tell you look for that image file that you've just downloaded here we have Ubuntu which is very common in the internet. If you want to download and install straight from the system like that, that's the probably the only way that you will be able to download it and install it. So you click on open and what it does, it mounts that file into your system. So now you're able to run it as a CD drive within your system because it creates a virtual CD drive. So let's go to start. Let's go to computer. Here it is, BDROM drive install Ubuntu. So if you click on that, here it goes. It's like if it's launching the program Ubuntu, the operating system of Ubuntu, in order to install it. So this takes away the need of you having to burn the actual program into a CD drive in order to have to install it into your computer. It serves you a lot when you're downloading you know things that are not supposed to be downloaded like certain movies or certain programs but this one I would recommend if you're gonna download it as an ISO file to mount it as an actual Daemon Tools drive that way you don't have to be burning and wasting no DVDs in order to mount it I hope this helps you out in trying to understand how to mount an image file while having to burn it into a CD or DVD drive. I mean CD. If you have any questions, just let me know.